Hello everyone and welcome back to Saurian and we are here with uh, with Runin who just had a bit of a narrow escape and I'm trying to remember I think we were headed I'm trying to remember where we came from I think we just swam across from there because we don't want to go back towards where that T-Rex was we got uh, we got jumped not long ago and you can see Runan's health is still recovering. Now, a couple things happened last episode. Some people had some questions, some people had some theories. One of the things people were asking about was why did Runan get excommunicated from his herd? Uh, now, story-wise, I'm chalking that up to Runan can be a little bit, a uh, little bit of a gruff boy, uh, a little bit stubborn, not always the easiest to get along with. Um, and got a little frustrated with everyone else not listening, but there are a couple different theories on mechanically what happened, and I don't 100% know because I'm still very much getting used to the Saurian gameplay system. This is my first time dealing with the herds. So uh, a lot of you guys thought that maybe it didn't target properly because the T-Rex is so far away, and so uh, it either registered as a false warning or the threat calls registered on herd members, and that's why his reputation got so low so fast, which is kind of my theory as well, is I think the Rex either was too far away, I don't know if there's a cooldown on how often you should warning call uh, or not, but uh, yeah, that's kind of my theory on it as well. Uh, so that's probably what happened, but you know, story-wise, it happens as it happens, and Runan is... Uh, Runin's going to be dealing with this for a little while. We definitely have to keep a better eye out as well, because that, that Rex just came out of nowhere. I still don't entirely know how it managed to do that. And we got to keep a close eye on the water as well, because I want to make sure we are running in the right direction. Runin got a little turned around, I think. And so hopefully we're not headed back towards the salt marshes, because that wasn't ideal. That's the opposite of where he wants to be. Is this... We drink water. There we go. We can get some water, right? Nope, this is salt. All right, we gotta go the other way. I'm glad I checked that now before we got a lot further along. Okay, this is fresh water, so we do want to keep heading in this direction with the water on our left. Uh, and I think that should... I think we might actually be back kind of near the... Hello? No, that's a, that's a packy in the distance. I thought I saw another Triceratops for a minute. Um, but we want to keep heading in this direction. I think head more inland. I don't think Runan's too fond of this area, uh, and I don't think he likes the night very much either, so we're probably going to try to sleep through it because, uh, it is going to get quite dark here, and that makes it very, very difficult to, to see, both for you guys and for Runan. Uh, I'm, that's kind of why I try to avoid playing at night in most games, for anyone who's wondering. Uh, I do love nighttime in games, Most in most cases. It can be a very pretty time, but unfortunately, it's it gets very, very dark. So we're going to try to sleep through this and hopefully be able to do that without having to worry about something sneaking up and trying to, uh, trying to eat us here. Because uh, that is always the eternal concern. I just wanted to snag some food before we do that, though, just to make sure that we're, we're full enough so we don't get too hungry at night. Except you can't actually sleep through the whole night, so it's going to be a little dark for a little while. Man, you can really even barely see the water. Well, Runin, I think, is going to continue on here. We're going to do our best to watch out for danger. And hopefully Dawn will not be too far off. The sky looks kind of light already. So I don't know if that's just the moon or if that means the sun is about to rise. Oh my gosh, it's a Rex. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Oh, that's really not what we wanted. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. It is very dark. And I think, uh, I think Runin is just going to run for a minute until we can get a little bit better visibility. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Is it still chasing us? Oh yeah, we have target mode. Um, I think we lost it. Ooh, I guess the Rex had a hard time in the dark, too. Oh, and it's also raining. Oh, my goodness. I think Runan is getting very tired of running away. I, I don't know. Let's see how close he is. He's not very close to being an adult yet. He's still got a little ways to go. But, uh, whew. He's definitely looking forward to getting stronger and stronger as time goes on, because that was a bit close for comfort. Oh, dear. Well, we've got a bit of a new problem. We are, uh, 
we're back at the beach. And I'm hearing sounds that I don't like. I don't know why it's so hard to get away from here. Is that a river there? I think it is. We're gonna follow this one because somehow we keep getting all turned around and coming back here and that's just really not great. As you can see our water's about halfway and that's gonna start to become a real issue if we don't get away from here and stay away from here. I'm unfortunately not all that accustomed to the Saurian map and uh, so it can be kind of hard to figure out how to stay away from the, uh, the salt marshes <laughs> for me. And I think Runin just keeps getting chased and hounded so much that he's he's having a bit of a difficult time trying to trying to figure out where he's going, especially wandering on his own with with no herd, no nothing to really give him context or direction. He's trying to figure out where he's even meant to belong. And unfortunately, the world has not been very kind. Uh, to him along the way. It's been a very harsh and hostile place for him to inhabit. There's some little, little fellows up ahead. I don't know who these guys are. Is this back to the beach again? I think it might be. Who are you? Have we seen these guys before? Oh, they're scattering. I did notice that there's some new creatures that have been added to the game since not the last time we played, I don't think, but since our previous series with with, with Hura, um, this is the this is the sea again. We're we're just right back. Why do all why do all paths lead to the sea? Oh my goodness, I want to be away from the dang swamp. I think we need to find like an actual river that'll run inland because I think this is I think we keep looping around the swamp is what happens. <laughs> Perhaps I think we keep just running circles around it. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's some new creatures in this since the last series we did in Saurian, so I think that was one of them. It was a little, little carnivorous thing, I think. Maybe a threat to a Dakota Raptor when the Dakota Raptors are young, but I'm not sure it's too much threat to us. I think, uh, they seem to be running away. <laughs> uh, but Runan's gonna continue his search for a river. Hopefully he'll find one. And we'll finally be able to get away from the coast here because goodness, this has this has not been the best of situations for us, has it now? Oh, finally, I think this is an actual river. I hope, I sure hope it is, because if we keep looping around the marsh, we're just we're not gonna get anywhere, and we're gonna run out of water. But I hope this one actually goes farther inland. And doesn't just keep circling back. I hope at least we can find somewhere where we can get a drink. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to run this way. Head, head uh, hopefully upstream here. And see what we find in that direction. I'm trying to keep an eye out as well for Rex's. Always looking around. Haven't had one pop out of us since that night. But they can they can show up when you least expect them to in this game, it seems like. I think this is looping back towards the sea. I'm pretty sure that's the beach again that I see. I think part of it too is just how difficult it's been to, like how, how difficult it's been because of all the flooding. I think, oh, is this less salty? Maybe, actually, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not the sea. No, it is still salt water. All right, we're gonna start swimming. This is possibly a horrible idea, but I think Runan's gotten a little bit fed up with what's happening here. And uh, part of the issue, I think, is you see all this rain. I think the area is really flooded now. So, like, there is there are flood stages in this game. Oh, we can actually we can actually bowl our way through here. I wonder if that does indicate that it's a flood, because we actually haven't been swimming for most of this. I think we just started swimming, possibly. But uh, much of that, we were just running, so I think that might be a sign that a lot of this area is normally above water. And I think that's kind of confusing for, for Runin here. He's having a bit of a, a tough time with trying to figure out where to go. Now, is this at least fresh water? It looks like fresh water. Yeah, look at these plants, too. These are above water plants, and those redwoods are in the water. So I think part of what's giving them a hard time is flood stage. Oh, thank goodness this is fresh water. So I think we are going in the, the right direction. But yeah, I think we're seeing some of the flood mechanics. We were we were looking for those the last time we played Saurian, and we didn't actually see too much of them. Is this exactly where we got jumped by the wrecks? It looks like it. Um... Alright, I think Runan is going to be really cautious around here. 
But, uh, yeah, so... I, I think that was something that we were we were trying to find and didn't ever really get to see in action. Well, it seems like Runin's getting to experience it firsthand now. I think most of this valley would be above water at much of the much of the time because it, you can see those trees. I think are not normally swamp trees, so I think that's part of what's throwing him off here. We're gonna try to make it to that. Uh, well, I don't know if that's an island or if that's just. Um, if that's just more land on the other side of it, but we're going to keep heading this way because I think this is finally getting us away from the ocean. <gasps> well, we're finally almost here and night is falling once again. We might try and get a little bit further here while we can, but I don't know. Runin's not too keen on nighttime and hasn't, uh, hasn't always been the best for him. Is that a crocodile over there? I think we've gotten big enough that... Um, that the crocodiles hopefully won't bother us too much. And we actually are nearing the adult stage, if I'm not mistaken. The last time I checked, that bar was pretty full. So I think we might be getting closer, actually. You know, this island might not be a half-bad place to spend the night. It's kind of unlikely anything would find us out here, perhaps. Or at least more unlikely than... Because uh, it, is, it is a full island. There's another swim to get back to the land there. So I think it might be kind of worth it to stay here for the evening and uh, spend the darkest hours out here in hopes that nobody will um, nobody will sneak up on us and uh, go on the attack. Now I just got some food. Is the water still fresh water? Oh, I don't. Oh, there's a crocodile right there. Is this still fresh water? Can I get water, please? No, it's only letting me try to eat. There we go. It is still fresh water. So I think this is, uh, I think this is right. But let's go ahead, we'll sleep through the night here. And hopefully, uh, hopefully all will stay okay and not, uh, not have anybody jumping us in the middle of the night again. Alright, it seems like that tactic actually wasn't a bad one. Dawn is on its way and, uh, doesn't seem like anything terrible happened. Now there is another island over there. Oh my goodness, just dove straight into the water. I wanted to get a drink more than anything. Um, but uh, it seems like there's another island over there that we might start to head towards. So let's make our way this way and then maybe we'll try to venture back onto the mainland now that it's a little bit earlier and hopefully we won't have to fear as much that we're gonna get jumped by something we can't see. All right, we made it to the island. I think we're just going to go back over this way and start continuing in this direction. Look how flooded it is. Some of this, I think, ordinarily would be swamp. Like, you can see some of the trees that look more swampy over here. But I'm not sure all of it would. Oh, and there is a Dakota Raptor by the looks of it. I think that's a Dakota Raptor. Now, I do want to be kind of careful because even those, even those guys can be a danger even to an adult Triceratops. But it does take quite a bit of effort, and I think Runan's getting big enough that he can avoid, like, that he doesn't have to avoid them completely. But, you know, we still would be wise to be careful. We definitely don't want to get complacent. Uh-oh, can we get out of the water here? We're having a hard time. It's too steep. Uh-oh. This is not ideal. Can we get out? I think we can get out here where it's a little bit less so, hopefully. There we go, we made it out. We should be all right. There was a Dakota Raptor somewhere over here. But I'm not sure it is anymore. It may have left. All right, I think we might be more safe. Man, look how much of this is flooded. You can see how the water interconnects too, which I think was what was throwing Runin off. That's some ominous music. I don't think anything's happening, but this game, it psychs you out sometimes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's part of what was throwing Runin off, is he kept circling and circling and circling as he tried to get away from the sea, looking for a river of some sort. Anything he followed just eventually connected and looped back. What's this little place, though? And... Those are just, okay, those are not T-Rexes. For a second, I thought there was just a whole bunch of T-Rexes, and I was about to not be very happy with that. Uh, there is a Packy over here as well, but those guys shouldn't bother us. Oh, I see more cliffs, so I think we're coming up on the other side of the, uh, 
the map. You know, I kind of actually like this uh, this little um, this little island here. I don't know if it always stays an island, but this is not a bad place. It'd be a pretty safe place, but it isn't a very big place, unfortunately. I do think, though, Runan's curious about what lies closer to the cliffs. And unfortunately, I did notice he's not as close to aging up as I thought. Uh, the bar has reset itself, so I didn't. what I didn't realize about that, if we look at it here, it's the bar for age. So he was four, and that uh, just shows that now he's five. Uh, so it doesn't mean that he's going to age up. He's going to be this for a little bit. He's going to be a sub-adult for a little bit longer. And we still haven't found a herd. There's some crocodiles here. We better stay away. Yeah. All right. The good news is this is firmly fresh water. And I think we will stay at this island for a little bit at least. Or at the very least long enough to wrap up the episode. Because it is getting to be about that time again. So we're going to have to leave Rune in here. I'm glad he's finally figured out the flood. But he is still very much alone. And unfortunately, it seems like that may not change anytime soon. He's definitely learning that it's far more dangerous to be without a herd, but he's struggling to even find others of his own kind, let alone get along with them. Thankfully, we didn't get jumped by another T-Rex after that first one, but there still was one that just came out of nowhere in the middle of the night. And I think until he feels like he is strong enough to take them on and or has a herd to help him do it, Runin isn't going to be... He's not going to really feel quite safe knowing that there are Rexes prowling about. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.